Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my review for the two X titles that I got. That was on May 12, 2010. We have the New Mutant Second Coming edition, uh, number 7, and that's issue number 13, but it's chapter 7. And we have Warren Ellis's Astonishing X Men Xenogenesis. I'm going to save this special one last because I know everybody wants this one. Now, this is takes a chapter 7 to the second coming storyline. Hope has been um, escaped Bastion, and she's on the Utopia Island. And I really, really like this cover. They did a really good job with this one. Uh, let's see. You have basically Domino with Vanisher, and it looks like they were being they were told to stay at a safe house, for at least for the time being. And, you know, uh, Cyclops contacts Domino saying, hey, you know, there's getting all of our teleporters, and Vanisher has to come back to the island. Vanisher's like, hell no, I want, I want to go back to my hose, and Domino, and can't stop him. And Vanisher goes to his whorehouse in Portugal, but surprise, uh, Stephen Lang is there with some troops, and they shoot the Vanisher, which pretty much eliminate, gets all of their teleporters. You have Pierce doing his plan, and you have uh, Cyclops trying to connect with the Beast, and the Beast is like, look, Scott, I'm only here because of my oath. I have to stay here to save, to cure the wounded. And you have this team over here going after whatever that structure was that seems so darn important which kind of makes me wonder what's going on here you have hope meeting the rest of the uh, X people doesn't go over very well which is understandable uh, let's see you have Wolverine, sorry, uh, Cyclops wanting to get involved, but Cable says, no, you have to let these people settle it. I agree, you have to let these people settle it. But they don't get a chance to because now all of their Blackbirds have blown up. And this part at least I liked where you have Submariner just kicking some robot butt or cyborg butt, Weapon X getting involved, and Cyclops just incinerating him. Which, I'm like, okay, that part's good, but I'm, I'm thinking, Cyclops, you're supposed to be the leader of the team. If they're taking away every, they're taking away all of your teleport teleporters, you can tell that they're trying to keep you from moving. Why did you leave your blackbirds unattended? That is leadership fail. Now you have three of potentially your smartest mutants investigating this that platform and what do they do they walked into a bomb and you have to find out what happens next week and you, you, you reveal hope wasn't really ready to go back to the future or back to the past she just said that because she's getting tired of reading at rats whatever that means I didn't read the other cable storyline so I don't know I'll have to get something to find out now overall I thought this was good issue but I'm really thinking Cyclops is a chump now, just because he's getting played by Bastion and those and his goons. They're they're basically taking away all of his pieces, and there's nothing he can do to stop them. And I'm very curious to see what he's going to do next, because pretty much they're all going to get killed if he doesn't come up with something. I know they're not all going to die. That's I'm just saying. You think that's what's going to happen. Now here comes Warren Ellis's Astonishing X-Men. <sighs> now you have the artist is Kari Anders, which I hope I'm pronouncing the name correct. The art to me goes from interesting to god awful. This part interesting. So far so good. What you have is, looks like it's the emergence of mutants again. You have babies being born, and they're all of a sudden becoming mutants. Now, normally that's not how it works, because once a baby's born, you know, usually a mutant doesn't 
come into uh, play until he become adolescent. Now you have Storm, and she's still connected with the Black Panther, but yet she's got that old mohawk. Which, you know, I'm, uh, whatever. Now, when you look at the sex teens here, some some of them actually look kind of well done. Like you have the Beast, it's well done. Cyclops is okay. Wolverine, mm, he's okay, it's not too bad. You know, I can live with Storm. You know, Mohawk or not. You have some sexual tension here. But, you have this god ugly White Queen. Well, this person who drew this must hate the White Queen, and it shows. Because every there is not one flattering picture of her at all. I mean, I'm not even going to talk about these hips where, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. this is like life field hips, which drove me insane. Look at that face. It's just ugly. I don't know. I mean, maybe they're trying to show this is her true inner self through her face, and that's why it's ugly. I don't know. But it is horrible. And the sad thing is, it gets worse. You have some... Anyways, the X-Men are going to um, Africa to investigate the births. And where is it? There you go. How you, how you, would, you have to wonder how Cyclops can kiss that every day. This is the most disgusting, vile face I have seen in a comic book in a long time. I mean, I'm not no comic book artist, but I guarantee you I can draw better than this blindfolded because this is god awful I don't understand why an editor would accept this as a piece of work this is ugly it makes it maybe their intention is to show the white queen as an ugly bitch I don't know if that's the case mission accomplished can we please go back to the other white queen immediately anyways the X-Men land and they're surrounded by troops you know, yeah, and you get a script thing at the end too, which is, eh, it's okay. Now, I'm gonna say it this way. This next issue picture does make me kinda wanna buy the next issue, but there is no way in hell I'm gonna buy it, especially if I have to look at a face like, like this again. There is no way. I would ever, I'm never going to, I'm not even going to waste any more money on this piece of crap. You know, this is, this is what this is. Crap. I mean, I don't care how good of a story Warren Ellis wrote on, did on this. I don't, I don't care if this is the thing that's going to save comic books from, you know, poor sales. And this is going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. The art is horrible. Look at that bot. That's no butt. That's like, that looks like some kindergartner trying to attempt to draw an ass. You know, that's how bad that is. It's horrible. Anyways, to me, that's, to me, that's what ruined the book. And I'm not buying it. No way. Absolutely. I'm not buying any more of these. So, if you have, that's my review. This one, keep buying if you're buying. If you're not buying, pick up the trade. This one, avoid at all costs. Unless you like ugly white queen pictures. So, if you have any questions or comments, agree or disagree with what I'm saying, feel free to write them in the comments. I'd like to hear from you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Until next time.